build a fully drivable mech in Fortnite. And at the end of the video, well, you'll just have to see. Okay, let's make a drivable mech. I'm gonna once again use my collider map here. May as well get some use out of it. I wanna make this like a full experience where you get in the mech, you like go up into it, and then you get in the cockpit, and then you have a first person experience up in the cockpit where you can control the mech. So let's make the exterior experience first. Place to enter up into the robot. I don't like the position of the arms. Yeah, 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 that looks good. All right, I also wanna add like some scaffolding around this. Like, I don't know, this is where it was built because you know the IO doesn't care that they're building uh, the robot right next to their base. They're good neighbors like that. All right, that's sufficiently scuffed. All right, but I also want like an elevator in the back here that will take you up to the cockpit. I'm gonna build like a little door that would be like, this is the entrance to the cockpit. All right, I think that's sufficient right there. Uh, don't run around this too much. There's, uh, it's really not well constructed. <laughs> Okay, I've also made an elevator shaft here that you'll uh, go up, but I'm a little worried because probably should have done the prop mover first to get the right height. The problem with the prop mover is you can only get it to go certain distances. Okay, first test, this is uh, 50 meters. Let's see how far it goes. Uh, okay, that's where it should stop. Okay, I think it's a bit far, but 40 might be pretty close. Fortunately, there is no 40. It only goes from 30 to 50. Wait, 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 I got an idea. I'm just gonna raise this up a couple of platforms. See how far up this goes. This should be just about right. Yes. What I'll do then is I'll just delete these bottom two rows. And I'm just gonna put a terrain piece. <laughs> There's always a solution to every problem, guys. And now we've got a perfectly working elevator that goes up to the top all the way into the cockpit. Okay, I think my exterior experience is good enough. Now I need to think about my interior. <laughs> That was my stomach. I guess I'm getting kind of hungry, but I don't have time to cook. I gotta finish this video. Oh, wait. My friends at Factor sent me a whole bunch of food the other day. And what I love about Factor food is there's no prep and no mess. Factor cuts out all of the stressful meal planning, extensive prep. The meals all arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. I mean, it's faster than going out to eat. And guys, these meals are so good. You may remember not long ago, HelloFresh actually sponsored one of my videos. And Factor is now owned by HelloFresh. So these two brands now give me an option to have so many different types of meals. I can either go with HelloFresh that gives me fresh ingredients that I put together and cook myself, or if I need something that's quicker, I can use Factor. And as a gamer with four kids, I am always in need of quick, healthy, good meals, and Factor lets me do that. I highly recommend this, so head to go.factor75.com slash mustard120 and use code mustard120 to get $120 off. The $120 off is a lot of food. Once again, go to this website, use code mustard120 and get $120 Twenty dollars off. This is a great deal, guys. Oh man, I'm so full now, and I'm ready to build the interior. Okay, so I kind of want this to feel like it's the inside of the like mech head here. I want it to like angle in a little bit, and then I just want to have like a small opening where you can like see out. So I think that's probably good. All right, this feels pretty decent. Let's give ourselves a chair and a highly advanced control console here. This is perfect. I love the like curve around. All right, now I got to set up the mechanics to make this sequence work. All right. Let's test this out. You come up here, you go and enter the mech, and then, okay, here we are. That worked perfect. Now I need to set up a button to get into the chair and let these doors open. So I've copied my room down here and put it up here, because this is where you're gonna be able to like see what you're doing. But I wanna see what this looks like in first person. We're gonna get our H here out of the shark prop gallery, and we're gonna make this uh, first person. Okay, wow, that console is really hard to see around. We're definitely gonna have to manipulate this just a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. I'm just gonna have to make sure I'm forcing the player to basically be standing on top of it. But it'll look like this to the player and then they can look down and press buttons. That'll make the mech do things. So I feel like that's a pretty good field of view. But I want these doors to open when they get into first person and I want it to like look cool like we're entering into drive the mech. Problem is I'm gonna have all of these huge props up here and I don't want people to see before they're actually in there. So I'm gonna have to probably put prop manipulator that covers all of this stuff up. Okay, let's test this out make sure everything disappears. Oh, okay, it looks good. But at the beginning of the game, everything looks like there's nothing there. Go up the elevator, enter the mech, get in the pilot's chair. Whoa, here we are. And then we start the mech, boom. And it opens up. Okay, that's sweet. Okay, now for the fun part. Now we gotta make different actions that the mech can do that will look believable from this first person view. All right, let's start with maybe a simple one. I'm thinking something like firing a rocket over at the base over here and it explodes. Okay, I've set up my arm here which in first person should look like it's coming from my body. And then 
I've aimed this missile over at there, but I don't know if my aim is true. But let's try this out here. So I'm gonna push this button and the arm's gonna appear and then the missile should shoot all the way down at the base. Okay, that looks like the aim is actually pretty good. Boom, okay, and then I can set up some explosives to blow that up. Right, I think I've got that all prepped, but I wanna see it in the first person. Make sure it's working properly. Okay, so I've added a button over here that says fire right arm missile. So we're gonna do that and look, there's our right arm and there goes the missile. Oh, guys, that's so cool. And then boom, it blows up and the right arm goes down. The base is destroyed. I am loving this. I feel like this is missing some like VFX here to indicate that it's firing. All right, I think I got a pretty good effect here. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, he raises up and then boom. Okay, that is perfect. And there goes the rocket. Okay, what else? I think we have a similar thing to this arm. We'll do like a left arm laser beam that'll come and blow this part up. So basically I'm just kind of like duplicating what I've done on the other arm, but just using like a particle effect instead. I'm just trying to do something simple on this one because my uh, next one I think is gonna be really hard. I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. Okay, that looks pretty good in first person there. I need a good particle effect. I'm actually just gonna copy the one I made over here for the glider because it's basically already made. I just need to kind of change it around to look like a beam instead of a fire. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna place it there. Whoa, oh, it's going straight up. All right, we gotta fix that. I'm gonna change the effect to soft circle here instead of a fire. Okay, there we go. That's looking like a little bit more like a beam. Let's change the color to red as well to see what that looks like. Oh yeah, guys, that is awesome. It actually looks like a giant lightsaber for the robot. <laughs> okay, here's the problem though. I can't get it longer than that. Let's make sure our aim looks good. And maybe it'll be okay in first person. You know, that's not terrible. It actually looks like it's reaching there, even though it's actually probably a hundred yards short. Okay, I think I maybe have this figured out. So let's trigger the left arm and then it's gonna fire down at the base. And then yes, it explodes. Oh, whoops. I gotta put a prop manipulator on those. Okay, that's not terrible. Now for the last attack which will destroy the collider. I don't know if I can do this though. I want the whole thing to move closer and then I want the sword to kind of like swipe at the collider and destroy the whole thing. With all of the existing stuff on this, I don't know if I can do this. Let's just start by making sure everything can move up to where it needs to be. All right, I think I got this all to maybe work. Let's see if it actually does though. So I'm gonna hit attack collider and that we should move towards it. Oh no, we missed the bottom. And I think we're a little bit too close there. It was 100 meters. Dang. Let's change it to 75. 75 meters. Oh no, the desk went 100. 75 meters looks just the right way though. Oh dang guys. One other problem is I have to make sure these move with it. Otherwise you'll pull back into third person before you get there. Oh dear. Epic here, my plea. Please give us a first person device. Now I just need to have this arm set up to swipe at the collider. Okay guys, I think I got everything set up. So now we have a fully drivable mech that you can go up, enter the mech, get in the pilot's chair. Start up the mech. You can shoot a missile with the right arm and blow up the base over there. You can use a left arm laser beam to shoot down at that base and blow that up. And the final touch, you can attack the collider. Let's go! Take that collider! <laughs> you guys can go play this map. Here's the code. Have fun!